my beauties, welcome back to my beauties big sister channel and to my Kendall Jenner Met Gala inspired makeup and hair look. I thought she looked so stunning. I mean, the hair is different. I would not normally have done this. This is my first time attempting <laughs> to do something like this with my hair. So I really hope you enjoy this nice, glowy, really glam makeup look. If you haven't subscribed already, then please do. And I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Right, let's get my Kendall Jenner on. We're gonna go straight in with the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream because it's just the best for giving that nice, dewy base. I'm gonna go into the Flawless Filter. I just think this is the most perfect product and I could imagine like Kendall wearing this. Her base is never too heavy so cream products are really nice to work with and this just makes the skin look incredible. I know I put this in so many videos but I genuinely it's like in my top five products ever so that's why I use it so much because it genuinely is just amazing now because kendall's base is not too heavy i'm going to go in with this which is amazing it's the rodeo skin tint love this stuff so much when you don't want like full coverage when you don't want it to be thick this is a more full coverage tinted moisturizer so it's in the middle between a tinted moisturizer and a foundation and um, i use the shade called st bath which is number three this has got SPF 30 in it as well, which is pretty amazing for a base. You can just see, it just gives more of a coverage, but it is quite light and dewy. It's not the cheapest, but it's so good. Annoyingly, I don't have an orange feather boa or gold dangly earrings or a necklace. So we're doing the hair and makeup, but we're not. We're not doing the outfit beauties. Another product I've been using a lot lately, but I've been loving it, is this, the Fenty Beauty Matchstick in Truffle. Again, as I say, like cream products always look so much more natural on the skin. So I think for Kendall as well, this is the kind of products that she would have been wearing. It looks really dark when you first put it on the skin, but it blends out really really well now we're going to go in to some concealer kardashians love charlotte tilbury so i should imagine that they'd love this concealer this is the magic away which is the new one if you do want to see like my full face of new charlotte tilbury then i'll link that up here but this is really gorgeous and i really like the applicator of this as well really lighting all these areas to try and cheat that supermodel bone structure. With the concealer, I always like to blend this in with a sponge. Um, I like to take it damp, press this into the skin. That is a good base. I'm happy with that. Back into the classic Laura Mercier setting powder to set that down, but it still kind of keeps the luminosity of the skin. This is such a nice product. I haven't used this for so long. This is why I'm enjoying my makeup cupboard so much because when I'm filming videos like this, I can go into my drawers and I'm like, oh, this is the most perfect product for this makeup look and I haven't used it for forever. I um, forgot I had it. So this is the Becca Beach Tint in Guava. It was cheeks are really, really nice and rosy. So here the rosiness of the look is just so pretty she really has like gone to town on the blush the only thing with cream products is like if you really want them to stay you've got to kind of set them now when i look at this makeup look all i think of is this because she is glowing and oh you just can't beat the iconic illuminator drops She's really gone to town with highlighting the nose, which I'm surprised about because a lot of makeup artists don't normally do, you know, the highlighting of the nose the whole way down. That's normally like a kind of Instagram makeup trend. Um, but yeah, she is, she is glowing. I'm gonna blend that in with my beauty blender. That's in the original shade, but it, I don't know. Like I know there's so many dupes for the iconic and some of them are great but for me 
like it is worth it i know it's expensive for a little pot of highlight but it is blooming good just to set these powders i'm going to take the beautiful benefit california again a product that i haven't used in so long but i love this blush so much and it's just perfect for this look it's like real coral vibes with that gold shimmer so i'm gonna pop that on top of the cheeks to really get that flush oh i forgot how good this smells <laughs> benefit hula caramel and um, we're gonna get that gorgeous bronzed summer vibes with this so just going underneath here and obviously kendall's bone structure is a joke so <laughs> it's kind of cheats our way to that I love these Bobbi Brown brushes, but the bristles do come out, which is pretty annoying. <laughs> Forehead is really nice and bronzed up here as well. Now on to brows. Let's really comb. Oh, there's a the hair. Let's really, really comb these brows up. They are nice and thick and dark and brushed up. Quite precise. They're not exactly fluffy. But um, yeah, they are brushed up. I'm actually gonna go into the Anastasia the Dip Brow. I haven't used this in a while because I've been using pencils. But for this look, I think that the pomade is actually gonna work a little bit better. Oh, I forgot how good this is. I'm loving this. I'm using all my like old school products for this look. It's so like slicked up that they're actually like glossy. So we're gonna go in with the Benefit 24 hour brow setter. I've used it that much. All the uh, the writing has come off a bit, but this is a really nice clear brow pomade and it's gonna be the perfect product for getting this kind of slick push up brow look like that. That's what we want. I've just got to recreate it on this side. <laughs> These are the strongest brows on me, but they are like how Kendall's are, so I'm gonna leave them. I'm start on the eyes now, and I'm gonna take this palette, which I think will be perfect for this look, uh, the Natural Vice by MAC. These shades here are perfect. So I'm gonna dive into the lighter shade. Kendall's eyes actually look quite light. Um, so I'm going to take this one right here. Just love how well these shades blend out. The eye look is actually really simple, but I love what they've done with the false eyelashes. Just to kind of get that really winged out eye, I'm just going to try and blend this out a bit to create the illusion. I think that Kendall has had a little bit of like, like, is it Botox? Like here, because how are our eyes that squinty? And I'm just gonna deepen things up in the outer corner with this color, not too much. You can't really see, because you can't really see her eyelids because she's looking like that. So I'm not quite sure what's going on there, but I think it's a little bit darker here. Now I'm gonna take a flat brush and just really lightly, like really close to the lash line go on the lower lashes like but really close this isn't very smoky it's quite defined this outer corner looks a little bit darker so i'm going to go in with that dark brown pop that here right now for the lashes this is exciting i'm going to go it should i go with these I feel like these I have no idea what these are going to look like these are the lord and berry glamour lash collection so what i'm going to do if you look at Kendall's eyelashes like really closely, you'll be able to see that she's just got lashes on the outer corner. There's none in the inner corner, which actually makes it look a little bit more natural. I'm just gonna take half of the lashes. I've just cut that half off. I'm just gonna take a little bit of my duo eyelash glue and pop that on there. Just let it become a little bit tacky. What mascara should I use? Let's go in with this one, the Ico Black Magic. And while that's drying, I'm gonna go into my Eyelore Eye Individual Eyelashes because Kendall's got three individual lashes on the bottom lashes. It's so like 60s Twiggy style, I love it. Um, so we don't want them crazily long. So I'm just gonna go in with 
three of the short um, lashes. Going underneath the lashes. I don't know if these are long enough, you know. Maybe I did need to go for the long. Ah, is it my Ah. Where did I go? Are they like twisting and turning? This is a nightmare. Realistically, are we gonna do this look in real life? Going to a club and, and putting false eyelashes on my bottom lashes. I, I can't see me doing that. So let's just take this with a pinch of salt. Look a little bit like spider's legs coming down. How does Kendall make them look so chic? That's what I wanna know. <laughs> I feel like I look like an idiot. <laughs> go in with these. Well, they're definitely not as big as Kendall's to be fair. I look ridiculous. I'm gonna switch the lashes. I took that one off because it just didn't look right. Um, so I'm gonna go in with the Salon System Natural Lash Intense. These are massive so I'm hoping they're gonna give a better look. Again though we are gonna cut them in half. I feel like I look a little bit ridiculous. <laughs> um, these lashes are like they're the right length, but they're just not the same cut as what Kendall had, which is very annoying. Um, but I'm gonna go with the Benefit Roller Liner and just emphasize the thickness. I think the bottom lashes have got to come off. They just look stupid on me. <laughs> okay, let's take these off. I'm feeling better about that. Now in with the Benefit Roller Eye Bright Pencil. You'll be able to see if you look close that um, Kendall has really nice bright waterline so it's like a nude eyeliner that's gone in there this is the best nude liner i've tried it's just the perfect shade and it really does like brighten the waterline go into my anastasia palette the glow kit and i'm going into this beautiful champagne color here and i'm going to pop that on the inner corner of the eye. Again, just on the nose with this same shade and on top of that highlight as well to really give it a glowy, dewy finish. Then for the lips, I'm gonna take the, okay, so they're like really, really glossy, super glossy. It reminded me of like a juicy tube. So I'm gonna take this lip liner, which is the shade Super Size Me from Charlotte Tilbury, which is a nice like pinky nude. Just a little bit underneath as the base. And then I'm gonna go in with this because this is the most perfect color for it. The iconic lip plumping gloss in Peekaboo. And this is plumping as well. Oh, it's really, really good shade match. I don't know if I need it, but I might just put on a little bit of the Sexy Mother Pucker by Soap and Glory. Just to kind of give it that, I don't know, it just reminds me of the Juicy Chew. That is the kind of consistency that her lip gloss looks like. Right, I think I'm happy with the makeup. I'm just gonna go into the hair and then we can kind of see. Now there are two curls. I'm not gonna attempt this one because I think we'll be here for days. So I'm just gonna do this one here. Luckily, my hair's nice and greasy, so it's ready to be slicked down. This brush is the best brush to get a really nice slick ponytail. I'm not quite sure what it's called, but I will link it down below. I think it's called like the dressing brush from GHD. Hair at the front is quite like pushed back. I need to save a little bit of baby hair here for my little flick, is that enough? Yeah, I think that's enough. Love these little elastic bands, they're so handy. It has got a little bit of height here, so let's just back comb. Right, then what I like to do, spray the GHD hairspray on top first, and then you can comb it through to get the nice sleek finish before you Kind of secure it down. It did go into a bun actually. Oh, what's that bit of hair? Let's put that round. Just need my orange feathers. What would be perfect for this is gel, but obviously I don't normally gel my hair, so I don't have gel with me. Um, so I'm gonna use this We Are Paradox Hair Alexa, which is amazing. But it's gonna be good for slicking it down then we can use some hairspray. Literally like a hip flask, it's so cool. Um, you need the tiniest little bit. Actually, I'm gonna put this all over my hair. Yeah, that's a 
perfect. It smells so good too. All right, let's put some hairspray on this now. Like, how did they stick this down to the head? Oh, oh, okay, that's good. But the makeup artist was like freaking out, like, do not ruin my work. I think that's quite good. Yeah, it is raised, like, can you see there? But if you had some gel, you could definitely slick that down. If I just had a little bit of a eye lift, I'd be more Kendall-fied. That's what she's like in real life. How? I'm going to go in with a little bit more liner to try and make my eyes look a little bit more elongated. I know that she hasn't really done this, but I can't really see because the eyelashes anyway. Okay, beauties, this is my Kendall Jenner inspired Met Gala look. I'm not going to lie, I feel like I've looked more like Kendall in my other videos before. I don't feel like I look very Kendall. But I feel like it's because of the lashes. She doesn't normally wear like really big lashes. I'm glad I took off the lower lashes because they just looked ridiculous on me. Uh, but I really like this glowy look, really glossy, juicy lip. Let me know what you think of this look in the comments below. It took me forever, I'm not gonna lie. The prep for this, I've been looking at her picture for about like two hours but yeah let me know what you think of this look in the comments below if you haven't already then please subscribe i'm doing everyday may so there is a video going up every single day this month so if you support it i would be so so grateful if you subscribed and i will see you beauties tomorrow bye